Let's hope this thing works. All right, one, two, three. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mindful Homestead, Jack here. And if you watched the last video, which I'll link up in the corner, you saw that we were starting to get the pig pasture ready for the pigs that are showing up tomorrow now. I went through and I started pulling out the hog panels and T-posts from last year. And I very quickly realized that I was having a much harder time pulling the T-posts out of the ground than I was hoping to. Working on a little bit new mic setup to get you some good audio. Uh, Oh, chicken on a roof. You gonna jump? So I started trying to pull the T-post out of the ground and I very quickly realized that it was gonna be a harder endeavor than I expected. The area where we've got them, there's that big pine tree. I'm pretty sure I hammered a bunch of those T-posts into, um, into pine roots, which is not good. You're not gonna get them out very easily. So today, rather than fighting with those things a whole bunch, I went to Tractor Supply in the morning and I grabbed a T-post puller, which is over there. And uh, we're gonna give that thing a shot and see how it goes. So first thing I've noticed, you do have to have T-posts with the notches on them, which I guess are true T-posts. They're the three-sided kind of. Um, so if you don't have those notches, it's just gonna slip. The plus side is that it is right and left-handed. And once you start it, it pulls up pretty easily. Yeah, this thing, this thing is awesome. I mean, that one was in there good. And it just pulled it right out. Same there. You know, I'm not a huge fan of winter. I like skiing, but snow bites. When you're on a homestead, snow is tough to deal with. But man, I think I would take snow over black flies any day. So I've got enough T posts right now to start laying out where we're going to put the pigs, kind of their home base. So what I'll do is I'll grab these, I'll bring them back there, and then we'll unload the hog panels off my truck and we'll start laying stuff out. I've also got to try to get the pig house pulled from where it is over that way. And I think that's going to involve, it's definitely going to involve the tractor.
So I put this T-post in. This is gonna be the corner. So one T-post will go that way or one hog panel will go that way. And then we'll probably go two hog panels that way and make a big rectangle enclosure. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some hog panels. I'm actually gonna lean them up against here. Um, I'm gonna see what it looks like if I need to flatten the ground, raise the ground, whatever. And then we'll kind of just block it out and rough in the shape. Yeah, right there. So now it was time to get the pig house moved into the enclosure. It was pretty heavy. It was built on a four by eight pallet. If I had a set of forks for the front of the Kubota, it probably would have been at the, about the limit of where I would want to pick up as far as weight. But instead I had this toe strap since I didn't have pallet forks and it worked out pretty well. It did gouge the yard up a little bit, but we ran our broilers across this patch of grass last year so it was pretty beat up already. All right, you're good. I was a little worried about the gate. Our wellhead's right there. You're just a little close to the well. You can kind of see it there. So going through this gate, I was just trying to be extra careful. Right here, I even hopped off the tractor to uh, use just a little brute force to get this thing moved through at the right angle. So we're almost back into where this is gonna be. We're going up over an old rock wall right here. Get it turned. And pushed in. All right, now we're ready for the pigs. <laughs> 